Did you know some creatures can kill you faster than it takes to brew a cup of coffee? Let's take a closer look, from a very safe distance of course, at some of nature's deadliest masterminds and their killer instincts. Beneath the waves lurks a killer so deadly, one wrong step could leave you paralyzed. The stonefish, Sinansia, isn't like most predators. It doesn't actively hunt with its venom. Instead, it lies perfectly still on rocky seabeds, like a master of disguise, waiting for unsuspecting prey to wander too close. Once disturbed, it strikes with lightning speed. This dangerous fish swims around the Indo-Pacific Ocean, from the Red Sea and East Africa, to French Polynesia, the Sea of Japan, and all the way down south to Queensland, Australia. The stonefish's venom isn't just for hunting, it's its ultimate defense system, warding off predators with a sting they'll never forget. Its dorsal spines hold venom so potent that it can cause excruciating pain, respiratory arrest, cardiovascular damage, convulsions, and even paralysis. Without treatment, these symptoms can escalate quickly and turn fatal. What if I told you one of the ocean's most stunning fish is also a stealthy assassin, armed with venomous spines? The lionfish, part of the Terioas genus, is an invasive species now wreaking havoc in the Gulf of Mexico, specifically along the Florida coast. This fish is known for its aggressive hunting habits and uses venomous spines for defense. While its sting isn't as lethal as the stonefish's, it can still cause intense pain, swelling, and nausea. With few natural predators in the region, the lionfish has rapidly spread, decimating populations of smaller fish and invertebrates, and threatening the balance of marine ecosystems. How can something small enough to fit in your hand hold enough venom to kill 26 people in minutes? The blue-ringed octopus, part of the Hapaloc Lyena genus, is found in the Indo-Pacific, from the Sea of Japan to Southern Australia, and from the Philippines to Vanuatu. This tiny critter delivers a deceptively painless bite, but its venom can leave you paralyzed and struggling for every breath. And the most terrifying part? There is no known antidote, making this fascinating creature an incredibly dangerous predator. So, why does such a small octopus need all that venom? It's for two main purposes, hunting and self-defense. While the rings act as a visual warning to predators, the venom is used to hunt small prey and protect itself if threatened. Before we go on, give the like button a pat, not the octopus, and subscribe for more fun nature stories. What if I told you there's a snake with venom so powerful, it can kill 100 adult humans with just one bite? Why would a snake need venom this powerful to survive? In the black soil plains near the borders of Queensland, South Australia, and the Northern Territory hides a silent killer. The inland taipan, Oxyuranus microlepidotus, hunts small mammals like rodents. But he's not hunting here, just plotting his escape. And honestly, I don't blame him. When the taipan bites, it injects a venomous cocktail of neurotoxins and anticoagulants, paralyzing its prey and stopping their blood flow almost instantly. Thankfully, this reclusive snake prefers to stay hidden in the outback, far away from humans. And if the inland taipan wasn't enough, meet its cousin, the coastal taipan, Oxyuranus scutellatus. Its venom is about 50 times less potent, but still powerful. Unlike more aggressive snakes, taipans hunt only when necessary, making them efficient yet cautious predators. Now, can you imagine being chased by a snake that can outrun you and kill you with a single bite? The black mamba, Dendro aspis polylepis, named for its inky black mouth, is native to sub-Saharan Africa. It can slither at speeds of up to 12 miles per hour and packs venom that acts faster than nearly any other snake. Its venom is a potent mix of neurotoxins that can kill a human within 7 to 10 hours without medical intervention. Despite its reputation, this snake is naturally shy, but if cornered, it becomes dangerously aggressive. But how do these venomous snakes stack up against rattlesnakes? Rattlesnakes inject larger amounts of venom, but their hemotoxic venom, which destroys tissue and disrupts blood clotting, acts more slowly compared to the taipan's fast-acting neurotoxins. 
A rattlesnake bite is still incredibly dangerous, causing excruciating pain, swelling, and in severe cases, organ failure if left untreated. In the world of venomous snakes, the rattlesnake's warning isn't one to ignore. While taipans, black mambas, and rattlesnakes steal the spotlight, there are other deadly contenders, such as the eastern brown snake and many banded crate, each with venom uniquely potent in its own way. There's a spider with venom so strong it could kill a small child in 15 minutes. The Sydney funnel web spider, Atrax robustus, is incredibly deadly. But thanks to modern anti-venom, fatalities are now extremely rare. Lurking in the forests around Sydney, this spider weaves dark, funnel-shaped webs and waits patiently for unsuspecting prey to wander too close. Of course, Australia doesn't have a monopoly on venomous spiders. What if I told you there's a spider whose bite doesn't just kill? It's far worse than that. Meet an eight-legged predator from Central and South America, one with a reputation that's as deadly as its venom. The Brazilian wandering spider from the Phonutria genus doesn't just hide in banana plants, it wanders into populated areas, hunting prey with deadly precision. Its venom, packed with neurotoxins, can cause severe pain, paralysis, and in rare cases, death. There's even a bizarre side effect, prolonged, painful erections. This unexpected reaction has even caught the attention of researchers who are exploring its potential for treating erectile dysfunction, a surprising purpose for such a deadly venom. Now for the next terrifying critter. What's small, deadly, and hiding in your backyard? The black widow spider, Latrodectus, may be the most dangerous house guest you'll ever have. And for good reason. Its venom is laced with a deadly neurotoxin, Latrotoxin, capable of causing excruciating muscle pain, cramping, and in rare cases, even death. But don't expect to casually encounter one. The Black Widow is a master of hiding, preferring dark, secluded places like sheds, basements, and woodpiles. It's only when you disturb its web that it might bite in self-defense. While the Black Widow's bite is dangerous and painful, its venom works more slowly than the Brazilian wandering spiders. The wandering spider's venom can cause immediate paralysis, whereas the black widow's venom takes its time, making the pain gradual, but no less deadly. Thanks to modern medical treatments, fatalities are extremely rare, making it less deadly than its reputation suggests. How can something as small as your thumb be one of the deadliest creatures in the world? The golden poison dart frog, Philobates terribilis, weighs just a few grams, but this tiny amphibian produces batrachotoxin, a toxin so potent that just two micrograms, less than a grain of salt, can kill a human. Indigenous people in Colombia have long used this powerful toxin to coat their hunting darts, giving the frog its name. But why does this frog need to be so toxic? The answer lies in its diet. The frog consumes toxic insects like certain ants and beetles, which allow it to build up this deadly defense. While this frog is the most toxic of all dart frogs, it's not the only amphibian that can be lethal. What happens when a toxic invader takes over entire ecosystems? The cane toad, Rhinella marina, has poison that doesn't just kill, it has a devastating effect on wildlife across continents. Native to the tropical and subtropical lowlands of Central and South America, but invasive in wetlands and rainforests in Australia, this toad secretes bufotoxin, a substance that can paralyze or kill animals and humans. While not as immediately lethal as the poison dart frog, its widespread presence makes it a significant threat to local wildlife, especially in regions where it has no natural predators. Think these critters are terrifying? Nature has plenty more surprises in store. Click the video on your screen now to uncover even more fascinating stories about the wild world around us.